Legend Total War here, and today we've got a rating your Doomstack video covering a Death Hag spam Doomstack. So what we've got here is 17 Death Hags, they're all on Cauldron of Blood. Uh, we've got a Master, a Fire Wizard, and Rakath. Now there's a lot to this that really doesn't make a lot of sense, but let's just jump into the battle and uh, see how it goes. We're up against two full stacks of Wood Elves, which is one of the most dangerous enemies on the battlefield, so he's chosen an appropriate amount of force. Auto Resolve might yield us a victory, I'm not sure I didn't test that out, but we're not here to check, test out its Auto Resolve I capabilities. So yeah, there are a lot of hero doom stacks in this game that work really well, but there are some hero doom stacks that I would probably never recommend and this is probably one of them I mean we'll have to see how it goes but I can already foresee like loads of problems with this um, so I think that this has way too many weaknesses and not enough strengths so if you're going to go with a death hag spam I actually think it's better to keep them on foot because the the Cauldron of Blood, while it does improve their melee capabilities, it also increases the amount of damage that they take because they're a bigger target, which means archers can shoot them so much easier. You take extra friendly fire from your own archers because they're so big, which isn't an issue here. But also, if you're up against a melee infantry unit, a Death Egg is really small, right? Only like a couple of units would be able to attack at a time. But with a Cauldron of Blood, so many units can attack it at once. So, I feel like this army is mystery just gonna, like, this is what I um, anticipate is gonna happen. We're gonna go in there, and we're gonna take damage so quickly. I think this army is just gonna fucking die, like, straight away. We might win, but I would be very surprised if even half of these Death Hags survived, because this is, this is a squishy kind of unit. Um... And they just don't really have enough, like, redeeming Doomstack qualities. Like, usually a Doomstack's got to have, like, some kind of really massive strength. These are not fast. They don't really hit that hard. Um, they're not really specialists at anything. There's a lot of units that they struggle against. Uh, I'm not saying that you should never get Death Hags. I'm just saying that you probably shouldn't spam 17 of them in your army. Now, one benefit to having loads of heroes is also putting lots of equipment on. So, having a look at some of the equipment, I just don't think he's chosen a lot of particularly good equipment in here as well. I'll have to see if we got like a, um... Like, that's that's probably not a good choice. Um, I'm just looking for a... Helm of Discord there, okay. So let's put this one here in control group 1. That one, control group 2. Need to keep an eye on that one. Is there any others with Helm of Discord? No. We got a whole bunch of Crown of Commands, which... Um, that's useless because Death Hags have high leadership in the first place. So making them unbreakable... Like, usually this unit is going to break when it's like down to 5 hit points, at which point it's dead anyway. So making it unbreakable is just pointless. Apart from, like, I guess keeping its frenzy up, which... It'll keep its frenzy going until it's pretty much dead anyway, so um, that provides a very low impact. Um, and then there's this ability here, the Fury of Cain. Uh, this is the kind of ability that I truly, truly hate. Because it only applies to one unit, and when you've got it 17 times, putting it down on 17 units like simultaneously is really difficult to do especially if it's part of control group because you're like clicking constantly right and what it does is whenever you make a click uh it fucking moves the unit down to the back of the control group and you lose track of it in addition to that you can't cast it on your own uh individual unit you have to cast it what's happening here did i press oh right uh you have to cast it on a different unit so um it's just really finicky and the bonus is not particularly substantial. Like, 24 melee attack, like, this, it's good bonus, but it also causes frenzy. It, it's, it's really micro-intensive, and there's just so many better abilities out in the game, where sometimes it's better to just not even use it. Another problem with this kind of ability is that while you're t uh, too busy sitting there button mashing, thinking the buffs are the most important thing ever, you'll oftentimes miss the bigger picture. Um, it's not that big of a deal with Death Hags because they, by default, will always miss the bigger picture because they're not a fast unit. But if you're sitting there buffing constantly, because human beings, we've only got so much attention span. We cannot be omniscient. We can't see everything that's going on. Um, so if you're sitting there button mashing, you'll oftentimes 
miss the chance that somebody's coming in to flank or you'll miss a vulnerable opportunity for the general. Um, there's a lot of problems with it. Um, so, this is definitely, like, just by default, not going to be my favorite army. Uh, uh, hang on. Um, put them into control group three. Alright. Now, we've got a fire wizard here. Now, I could go over there and uh, put Flamestorm down on them to thin them out considerably, but we are here to test the Death Hag, and the balance of power is not horrendous. So if the balance of power was horrendous, I'd use the death the, the, the uh, Fire Wizard to thin them out first, but we really want to be testing out the Death Hags. Um, so what I'm going to do is sort of like a, a bit of a compromise. I'll use the Fire Wizard, but only once we've gone into melee. Might also be a good idea to use the Flaming Sword of Ruin. Uh, because magic damage pretty good against um, against wood elves since they tend to have a lot of physical resistance, especially like the monsters. But they have no magical resistance. So I don't want to attack uphill. So what we do here is uh, get up on this side and then move down. But yeah, I definitely foresee a lot of problems with this army. Like if you're gonna build a hero doom stack, right? There's there are some really strong hero doom stacks. And I just don't see Death Hags having, like, any more than... Like, the reason why I put a Death Hag in my army is primarily just for, like, casualty replenishment. That's about it. Um, and I kind of prefer to put them on foot these days, just because otherwise they take a lot of damage. We're also on large unit scale, which means battles happen a lot faster. Um, so you, you could definitely miss the bigger picture with something like this. Also, um, when thinking about the strength of a Doom Stack, you've got to take into consideration how easy it is to use. And I feel like this army, to use it effectively, is not easy. It's like, there's a lot of ways you can fuck it up. Like, the best Doom Stacks are the ones that you just don't need to think. You just, like, send them in and it's just like, easy. Oh, shit. Don't forget about you. So we want to make sure we're attacking downhill, not uphill. With rage. It is done. Going. But yeah, I think we'll win, but I'd be—I would be very surprised if half of these survived. Very surprised. So we've got a few with um, potion of healing. I'm going to put them in. Ride of Cain. Speak dark deed. Death hag. Um, another control group, so that I can just kind of trying to keep track of. Who's got them? Oh, I've only got one with potion healing. Okay. The other abilities I just don't consider to be very important. Uh, the master as well. Um, I just don't see a lot of value with him at all in this in this army. Like, okay, fighter, but basically it's kind of like a trade-off. Like he can one-on-one -on -one a unit. But in a situation where you're at number two to one, I just don't feel like masters really do much. They don't have any particularly special abilities. Um, uh, you know, you've got regen here, but the battle's going to happen really quickly. So, all right, what we want to do here is we don't want to be fighting in the trees, but we want to just come out and try to go for their monsters first. What now? We don't want to spread out either. Um, Single entities fight way better back to back. Way better. Problem is though, we're gonna get shot a lot easier, so it's Yeah, it's a difficult enemy that we're going up against here. So let's see how we go. Cause like Sometimes they get sent in doom stacks that are like amazing, right? And the, but they can't all be 10 out of 10s because it's just not, it's not possible for everybody to send in a 10 out of 10 doom stack. Um, but sometimes I think it's important to cover doom stacks that I think are rubbish. And I do think that this is going to be rubbish. Uh, just so we can like evaluate it and then just put it to rest. You know, hey, we covered, covered it. Let's, let's just see how we go. Okay, so what's over here, go fight them. Stay together, stay together. Don't worry too much about missile units. It'll be alright. Alright, pop that down. And I said we'd use some fire magic. I reckon this would actually be pretty good. I like buff spells that do like area of effect buffs, not just one person. That's why I fucking hate this. Why did you come out of that control group? 
See, this is really finicky ability. It's just not good. Okay, we're okay at the moment. Not taking too much damage. Really important keeping together. Let's get Rakath in there. Rakath's got a lot of really finicky abilities as well. So I'm not the, like the biggest fan of him. Get the master in there. Just stay, stay back to back. See, they're fighting reasonably well back to back. We're never really going to be able to catch the archers that well. Stay back to back. Magic attack's good. Let's get around over this side over here. Oh, this one here's also got a potion healing. Okay, let's use that now before I forget about it. God damn it. So, like I said, we're like ability mashing here, which isn't ideal. Shouldn't be doing that. I gotta pay attention to make sure everyone stays together. What makes it even worse is that the ability causes rampage. Karth is going down pretty hard. Try to get rid of some of these archers from shooting us. Bouncer power is maybe improved a little bit. Use this. So. Like, it's just, like I said, it's just a really fucking annoying ability to use. To use it this much. Really, really, really irritating. Okay, Rakath is getting pooped to get him out of it. It's kind of good that they're shooting... Okay, uh, shooting at the, the wizard. Kind of, I mean. Just because they're not shooting at the death hag so much. So, bounce of power just hit even. Get fucking Rakath out of there. He's finished. Um, don't be using the dragon breath attack because he'll just die. Um, Dragon Breaths can be very powerful, sometimes, uh, not while you're getting shot though, especially by uh, Wood Elves, bad idea. Okay, I don't think any of them's died yet, I don't think we can justify getting any of them out of there. Just try to keep using these fucking garbage abilities as best I can. It's not much, but it's all we got. How's Rakath doing? Yeah, just go, just hang over there. You're okay. Bounce of power's okay. Let's keep doing this. This is actually pretty useful here. Some of them, I'm, it's doing better than I expected, but we're about to take some casualties. Are you, you flying? You get down there and help fine. Watch out. Yeah, yeah, you just go run off and go regenerate some magic for a bit. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Keep it up as best we can. We're all fighting. I am ready. See, yeah, running away was not a problem for any of them. The leadership's fine. too much but yeah if it's one ability that I really truly hate in this game it's rampage it's, um, it just makes it unable for you to really do any good tactical decisions and you you're focusing on stats rather than like wise decisions how are we going yeah bounce power still improving Deeds. 
Just like picking them at random because I'm, I'm actually not sure which of them. As it on at any given time, just just use the ability because it's not like it's limited. you going over there yep come over here okay come and help us out all right there's the army losses okay we definitely lost some of them but I did say I expected half of them to die and that didn't happen so that went down pretty similar to how I expected very difficult to use um, it's not the kind of army you can just like send it in there and just like relax and just watch it destroy an enemy I mean these should all be like rank 40 as well there are hero doom stacks that would have easily handled this, but I think what excuse me, what hurt us the most here was our size. It just made it too easy for the enemy to uh, do damage to us. So we lost three. Okay, you know that's. I'm sure they're immortal. It's not too bad, and it was a lot of enemies. But do I like this doom stack? No, it was stressful the whole fucking way through, and that's not good. Like, the 10 out of 10 Doom stacks are, are all, like, no stress. Because they're just, like, so super strong. Like, the Phoenix Doom stack is just, like, you just do it, send it up against anything and it's fine. So let's have a look at some of these Death Hags and just see what the thoughts were behind some of this. Obviously, we don't need to worry about sending the campaign back, but let's just have a look. So, wh what I don't understand is why Rakath... So, plus 8 melee defense for monstrous units. This is not considered a monster, I don't believe. I mean, we can test it out. If we kick Rakath out, will they lose 8 melee defense? Let's have a look at uh, other things. Um, leadership? Well, anyone can get that. Um, mm, okay, so why, why Rakath? That's what I don't understand. So, alright. So, let's have a look at this one here. It's melee defense is 49. This will let us know if, um, if it, if, uh, Rakath actually boosts them. Yeah, so, yeah, the, why Rakath? I think you would have been better off with a Supreme Sorceress of Fire. Um, that way you just got double magics, you know? Um, cause Rakath, you know, he had to bail on that really quickly. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna use a legendary lord, you kind of need to use their strengths, or even maybe even use malice for, with something like this, um, because his abilities they can debuff in area. So malice would have actually been a pretty good choice for this. Uh, hang on, look, is malice available? Let me just check. He's not in here. Supreme sorceress of Grass. Let me just see if you got malice. Hanging around somewhere. Don't think so. Is he? He must have got wiped out. Unless either that or I, I totally didn't see him. Let me just be a bit more thorough. So there's Malachus. Hellebron. Oh, there he is. I just didn't see him. So the ability that I was thinking of, um, I got sort of came with him. Is the Demon's Curse? Yeah, because you you can. Do a little bit of damage to him, but he loses. It drops the melee defense in the local area, and malice, malice is not going to go down very quickly at all. And he's smaller than the death hags, so if you are going to do this, which I don't recommend it, malice would have been a way better choice than Rakath. Way better choice, because uh, his, his the stuff that he boosts anyway is garbage in the first place. So that's yeah, Rakath was a bad choice. Um, are these trait farmed? No, they're just random traits. So, getting disciplined would have helped a little bit. Extra melee attack. Um, hey, getting getting uh, 10 disciplined ones, that's 20 extra melee attack. That pretty much makes it so you don't have to use this fucking crap ability here. Um, pretty much. Uh, what about this one here? So, yeah, it definitely wasn't trait farmed for... Like, that one could have been spiteful for extra melee attack. Um, yeah, okay. So... Look, in terms of the Dark Elves, which are capable of producing very powerful armies, this is not a good Doom stack at all. I don't recommend this at all, um, considering you're using up uh, Death Hags, which are valuable, but one for each army, I would say. 
Uh, I, I just don't find them to be good in this situation. I think if you were going to use a Death Hag spam, you need to be going up against something that... Basically has low damage output. Something like Tomb Kings, maybe. Because Tomb Kings... Tomb Kings rely on sending numbers en masse against you. But their actual damage output's pretty low, for the most part. Um, but you've still got better options than that. So, I would probably rate this, like, 5 out of 10. Like, it's not good. I wouldn't even rate this as a doom stack. Like, that battle was stressful. It was quick, but it was fucking stressful. And I felt obligated to do use the Fury of Cain, even though I personally don't feel like its impact is very high. And things got messy very quickly. And we didn't walk out of there, like, very well. Um, if you use Malice, I reckon it would have gone a little bit better. Uh, maybe you can make it 6 out of 10. But basically, I just don't recommend doing this. If you're going to do this, just do it for fun. Don't do it because you think it's good. Um, the Dark Elves are a very versatile race, and there's a lot of things that they can do for Doomstacks, if you want to Doomstack. And I just I don't recommend this at all. I don't even rank this as a Doomstack. It has to get a 7 out of 10 in order to rank it, rank it as a Doomstack, and I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. It's strong. It won the battle, but I feel like it's not that strong, and that there are way better... Doomstacks available for the Dark Elves, and you're just wasting your time and energy and your items on on these. I think it might be better as well if they're taken off the Cauldron of Blood, just because their size hurts them more than anything. Um, yeah, it's good that you at least put equipment on them for the most part. Uh, but some of like the crown of commands were totally useless. Anyway, that's the end of this one Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Also guys, make sure you hit that sub button because Tomorrow, so that's not tonight uh, tomorrow we'll be doing a Torox live stream on the Vortex campaign and if we hit like 200 more subs by then so you got a full 24 hours to do that I will make it a this is total war campaign okay so if that's something that you want to see and you haven't subscribed yet then just hit the sub button and then you know if you're if you're sick of it later you just unsubscribe later it's fine okay but let's get to I think the number hang on let me just see what's the number that we need to get to we need to get to 366,000 subs. We're currently at 365,800. So you don't have that much to go on. It's, it's seeming pretty likely we're going to do it. Anyway, appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.